Hi, my name is Tennis Griffonia. Welcome to how to recover data lost from a QNAP device using our Linux. This video will take about 5 minutes, so let's start. In this video, I'm going to use a QNAP TS673 and I've created for you the link on Amazon where to check the best price for this QNAP device. And I've also added for you the two bay docking station I've used during the data recovery. And if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel and support me to reach 1000 subscribers. On QNAP storage and snapshots, I'm going to create a brand new storage pool and a system volume. For this video demonstration, I'm going to use the first two disks and automatically QNAP will select them as a RAID 1 array. For RAID 1, I mean the algorithm used by QNAP for a 2-bay desktop NAS for home or professional use. And after adding the storage pool, I'm going to create a new volume. In FileStation, we have now the default folder structure you will find on your QNAP device. And under the QNAP public folder, I'm going to copy a few pictures you will see as a desktop on my videos. If your NAS has an hardware failure or a software corruption, you will now learn how to recover your data from disk. And I've also added for you the link where to download our Linux. In a RAID 1 configuration, you will need only one disk to recover your data. On disk management, you can see the actual partition of the disk removed from your QNAP device. After the installation, just select the disk you want to recover data from and click on Scan. I strongly suggest to save the scan to a file because this will be useful if you want to recover your data in different steps, avoiding again a full rescan. I've recorded this video on different days and now I'm going to open the information file saved during the full scan. I'm going to select the recognized data volume we created at the beginning of this video and then I'm going to click on Open Drive Files. Under the public folder you can see the JPEG files we copied at the beginning of this video. 
So just mark the file you want to recover and click on Recover Marked. We will now extract the file from the original QNAP disk to a recovery folder on the desktop. And we are now near the end of this video, so I hope you will be able to recover your data and if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel and support me to reach 1000 subscribers. Bye!